Three, two. Hey guys, thanks for dropping by. It's Marty Smith here for PokerCalculatorReport.com. I'm sure you know Hold'em Indicator is one of my favorite products on the market. And if you're unfamiliar with it, it provides online players with instant odds and drawing information, as well as a full range of player profile statistics that help you make better decisions against each of your opponents. Now, as you can see here too, it also handles Rush Poker games really well. And I know this because I've been playing a lot of Rush Cash games recently. And Hold'em Indicator also offers full HUD capabilities as well as your standard attached view options. You can use either or both. But now, the purpose of this video, Hold'em Indicator has added a hand replayer built right into the software which allows you to play back entire sessions and review potential trouble hands or even let you relive some of your glory moments. So here's how it works. Basically, after your session is over, you can review it in its entirety. You just go to the Tools menu and choose the Hand Replayer. A list of recent sessions will show and you can just select one and press play. Now this launches a state-of-the-art Flash Replayer which recreates every hand in succession from that session. All of the player's names and profile data you had at the time is displayed just as it was in the real hand. That is a great feature because, you know, it's one thing to be able to look at your hands again, but this replayer also shows your opponent's profile data, the exact same information you had during the play of the hand. This is excellent review information for coaching or recording a video of your hand, perhaps. You can use something like Jing, even, and post it to YouTube if you like. That also makes it much easier to get accurate feedback when everyone will see all of the data available, just like you had during live action. Okay, so the scrolling area at the bottom here indicates all the hands played with either no action, the gray columns, winning hands in green, and losing hands in red. You can also use this scroll bar for longer sessions too, going back and forth kicking out key hands that you want to review. The bigger the amounts won or lost, the bigger those columns will show in comparison, and that makes it really easy to find those important hands. You can also use these controls to play through the entire session or just play a particular hand. You also have speed controls here and a full screen option by clicking this square. And by clicking a particular hand, you can just freeze the action on a hand and just jump manually to the preflop, flop, turn, and river streets just by clicking these markers so you can analyze and reassess on every street that you played. I hope you can see how valuable that might be to, you know, improving your game away from the table. But when replaying your hand, even though Hold'em Indicator knows what your opponents are holding, you can turn their cards down and judge how you played the hand without knowing your opponent's whole card, assuming you didn't remember. So there's a lot of variety as to how to use the replayer. The point is, Use it because review of your play is a critical part of becoming a profitable player. In the sessions menu, you can choose last 12 or last 24 sessions. You can also do a search for the hands you played today, yesterday, or type in a specific date. So lots of flexibility there for searching for your hands. And once they go through this hand replayer, it's going to be stored indefinitely on your computer. Whatever options you have chosen in your HUD feature are going to show up on your replayer. So if you're just doing some studying, you might want to go into your menu, check the HUD feature, and click on a lot more of the profile statistics that you want for the replayer. You might not want all of these during the real game, but when you're going through the replayer and reviewing your hands, you know, you're going to want as much information there as possible. Best thing about the hand replayer, guys? It's free. Hold'em Indicator offers free upgrades to its owners. In fact, Hold'em Indicator has never charged for any upgrade and stand by their commitment for their lifetime license and support guarantee. If you think about it, Hold'em Indicator could easily be on version 3.0 now and, you know, charge you for every update. A lot of software companies operate that way, so really good customer support and service from the Indicator Group. And oh yeah, I almost forgot the replayer is also available in Tournament Indicator as well. So the next time you open up that product, it's going to update and uh, you'll be able to use the replayer after the next tournament you play. And that's another thing too. The replayer does not extract hands that you've already played before the update. 
it will only be able to view all the hands after you've made the upgrade. It's because the hands actually have to go through this whole filter to produce the flash file. So there you go, another great feature from Hold'em Indicator and Tournament Indicator. And don't forget to try Jing from TechSmith. That is a great way to record your hands from this replayer and quickly post them to Jing itself or YouTube perhaps. Jing is free, by the way. You can grab images or make short videos with it. And it's from TechSmith, so just do a search for that. Okay, take care. It's Marty Smith for PokerCalculatorReport.com. Ciao.